There are several types of chemical fume hoods that provide protection and help capture and exhaust chemical vapors and airborne particulates. However, all types work on similar principles. Airflow in a chemical fume hood can be interrupted, altered, and changed by different factors. Air flows into the hood capturing and containing contaminants, preventing them from escaping into the laboratory room. The smoke shown here provides visual demonstration of how air flows in a fume hood. Many conditions can affect the efficiency and safe operation of a fume hood. Chemicals closer to the front of the hood are more likely to leak from the hood. Operate at least six inches from the front. The placement of objects close to the front opening may result in leakage and loss of containment. Sash height is important for maintaining proper airflow and to keep those working in it and around it safe. When working in the hood, the sash should be at the certification mark. Raising and lowering the sash should be done slowly. Moving the sash quickly can disturb the airflow and result in leakage. Large equipment inside the hood can obstruct the airflow and may allow vapors to escape into the lab. Equipment should be elevated to allow air to flow under it so the proper fume hood airflow patterns will be maintained. Abrupt movements can cause turbulence allowing vapors to escape. For example, most people walk at a velocity of approximately 250 feet per minute, about three miles per hour. Wakes or vortices form behind a person who is walking and the velocities in these vortices exceed 250 feet per minute. When a person walks in front of an open fume hood, the vortices can overcome the fume hood face velocity and pull contaminants out of the fume hood, into the vortex, and into the laboratory. Place equipment and materials inside the hood before work begins. If you do need to move your arms out of the hood, move them slowly, and perpendicular to the hood face. The location of the hood is important too. It should be away from doors, fans, or ceiling air supply diffusers. The fume hood should be installed in a low traffic area.